Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about tech stocks and whether they are good or bad or whether you should buy them, whether they're in a bubble, you know, just kind of a, a lot of things. Now, before I get started here, I just want to say that I created a stock market program at the request of you guys, actually. Um, it's on sale right now for the next three days, so you can save some money. And yeah, that, hopefully uh, you guys check it out. Link's in the description below. Anyways, let's get to this tech stock video. So. As most of you may know, I do not generally buy tech stocks, period, apart from the occasional Apple or something like that, when I have a big gut feeling or hunch. But, uh, and I'll explain to you kind of why I don't like them. First of all, they don't pay a dividend, which I hate. I just don't, if it doesn't pay a dividend, I generally just don't even look at it. But uh, I have an index here of a few hundred companies of the top tech stocks in the world, actually. So this tracked it from 2000 to 2016. Now, if you invested in 2008, you probably would have, I think that the points here were around 5,000. So you would have, you know, done pretty well over the past eight years. So 5,000 to 12,500. This looks pretty good, right? Oh, that's a lot of growth over the past five or so years. So let's take a little bit of a, a look back here, though. If we go back a little bit further, it kind of looks something like this. And then it dips down here, it goes up and down, and then whoa! What was that? That was, uh, that was the dot com and tech bubble of 2001 right there. Now as you can see, if you invested in 2000 or 2001, right before the, uh, the tech bubble crashed, you would have made Zero. <laughs> Zero. But I need, if you invested any time in here, you're probably doing pretty good right now if you held on to everything. Um, so also this kind of got me thinking, are we in a tech bubble right now? Because this kind of this kind of looks symmetrical, if you can see here, right? So are we in a tech bubble? I don't really know. I'll, I do know that um, PE ratios, so price to earnings ratios, are at an all-time high right now. Meaning that's, you know, especially tech stocks are in really, really high demand and really overpriced right now in my mind. Um, like, for example, I think Amazon's PE ratio is like 116 right now, which is like, that's insane. That's completely, completely stupid, to be honest. Like, oh, I like Amazon as a company and I would probably buy their stock, but they, they, it's just 116 PE ratio is just not good. So I'm just gonna give you some thoughts on just some te general tech stocks. I got asked a bunch of questions. I had a bunch of messages saying that I should make more videos on specifically on stocks. So I'm gonna talk about a few that were requested actually. So Facebook stock. Now I don't, I personally wouldn't inv invest in any of those Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat or any of those stocks. Snapchat's gonna, I don't, I don't know what their IPO is gonna be like. I guess we'll see, but uh, yeah, I don't know, Facebook, the thing is, they have had such consistent growth over the past, I don't know, they've been on the market six years now, I think, since their IPO. And you know, their, you know, their chart looks something like this from, you know, 2010-ish. It look, it seriously just looks like this. Although it's plateaued, I guess, in the last six months. But they've, you know, they've surprised me since, since I started investing. They've just kept growing and growing and growing. Meanwhile, you know, Twitter, for example, give you an example. Uh, Twitter, you know, they haven't been doing too well at all. They started, you know, pretty mid and then they went high and then now they're kind of like down here and on the, on the low. Um, I don't know, my thoughts on Facebook stock, I mean, they've done, they've pretty much uh, done pretty well right over the past six years and I didn't think that they would in terms of value of the company. They found additional ways to make money. They, their ad, the reason why they're, they're making so much money is because their ad targeting system is the best in the world right now. And so advertisers are paying oodles and oodles of money to advertise on their site. So when you see those ads that pop up in your desktop, in your desktop feed and, and on the side, that's how, why Facebook is valued so high. And that they, you know, good for them. They made their targeting, uh, um, they made their targeting campaigns, you know, super, super easy for advertisers too. So that's why they're making a lot of money. Now, um, yeah. So I don't really know how many more revenue streams Facebook could 
yet, though. I, I mean that their advertising stuff will be in higher demand, so they will probably keep increasing on in revenue for a little bit. But I just don't know how many more routes of revenue they could go through. I think that they kind of they're maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe they'll come up with something super creative that can earn them some more money. But I don't know. I don't know. And meanwhile, why does why does Twitter suck? Well, because they don't have good advertising, right? Uh, if you have ever done a Twitter ad, it's super, super difficult. You can't really target anyone, to be honest. It's really difficult. Facebook, tr <laughs> the funny thing about Facebook is that they track everything you do and they make assumptions about the type of person you are based on your Facebook activity. So actually, it's, when you go into like a Facebook ad, when you create one, I've done tons of those, it'll have, you know, um, a bunch of sections like this and it'll say like demographics so demo it'll have like online activity it'll have um, behavior and so you can actually target people who are more likely to spend money online on Facebook and people who are you know always active online people who are looking to buy a new house um, you know people who are at any age range from any country or, or maybe just visiting the country. It's really weird. They can just track everything. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Facebook's just a weird one for me. People ask me about Snapchat too, the Snapchat IPO. Now, me personally, I don't really know how uh, Snapchat is going to increase their revenue. I mean, they have, I think that they have Snapchat ads, but they're, from what I heard, they're completely shit. And as of right now, maybe they'll be better in the future, but how can they be better? People don't really post anything about their uh, personal life in text or bio or anything like that. And it's not like people can just click on the ad and then uh, automatically just buy something right away. I mean that they can on Snapchat, but I don't know. I don't really know what to say about that, to be honest. Uh, people ask me about Snapchat. I, I think that the app is going to keep doing well and probably the app will do better and grow a bigger following and have more, um, more content and people will be posting more, but I just seriously don't know about how they're gonna make any more money than they currently are. That's what I'm trying to say, apart from having more people join. I just don't know how they can improve their ad campaigns. I don't know how they can add additional streams of revenue unless they buy another company. It's just, I don't know. I wouldn't do the Snapchat IPO, but that's just me. And I think that's kind of, all I really wanted to cover, and for, for specific stocks, now I just want to talk about tech in general. I kind of mentioned this at the beginning. If you are, if you are a beginner, you know, just probably stay away from these because they're really volatile for the most part. I mean, they could look at BlackBerry. You know, BlackBerry was, was something like this. They, they were like on fire for so long, and then they just completely fell off the map. Although I heard that uh, BlackBerry's actually opening, uh, they're transitioning from the phone market to a software market. And apparently they've been doing pretty well and they might get funding from the federal government of Canada, which is quite interesting. Or is it provincial? I'm not quite sure. But they're getting into the whole automated driving stuff, which I don't, you know, uh, I think that they're a little bit late to the game. I think that Tesla is already doing great with that and Google already, they've been doing great with that. And now BlackBerry's just starting that. I don't know if that was the best business plan. But saying that, they have a bunch, you know, I used to live in Waterloo where BlackBerry has their, um, has their headquarters. And there's a bunch of great engineers around there. In fact, Waterloo has, is like known for engineering. So maybe they could pick up some, you know, <laughs> really advanced engineers straight out of school and just work them 24 hours to catch up to Tesla and, uh, and Google. But yeah, tech stocks in general, it's, I don't like ones that don't pay a dividend. That's why Apple was a good one for me, you know, paying a 1.7% dividend. Although when I had it, it was less than that. And then I sold it. I had like a 90% ROI on that because the Canadian dollar tanked at this. I, actually, I, I told this story to someone on Facebook, actually. So why do I keep talking about how I had a great investment in Apple? I put in probably half of my portfolio at the time into Apple because I just had that feeling, right? I bought it for 85 Canadian dollars per stock. Then what happened was, um, well, it was like $80 US or yeah, it was about 78 or something US or 80 US. I bought it for like 85 to 90 Canadian dollars. 
And then what happened is that next year, it was worth 129 US dollars when I decided to sell it. And the Canadian dollar took a crap too at the same time. So I actually sold it for about 160 Canadian dollars and I bought them for about 85, which was, uh, <laughs> it was a quick way to make a few thousand bucks in a year. It was great. That'll, that'll never happen again to me, I don't think. I mean, I've had some good stocks. Actually, most of my stocks have been pretty good. Um, apart from the one where I had to sell, but anyways, those are just my thoughts on some tech companies. If you have any more questions or anything like that, let me know. I think that tech companies should pay dividends, but I know that they reinvest them into uh, uh, research and development. So, I mean, research and development. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, a lot of it goes to CEOs and executives, but that's another story for another time. So, yeah, anyways, uh, remember to go check out my stock market mastery program. Link is in the description below. It's on sale for a couple more days, uh, I think. And then the price goes way up. So make sure to, uh, make sure to check it out. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.